To begin with, we have to set up the structure. The first thing to do is to balance the skeleton in gravity. Like any building, the way we do that is start from the bottom, think of the feet being relaxed on the ground. The weight is even throughout the whole foot, balance being in the middle of the foot. Have the ankles open, you want a feeling of space there, no tension. When you think about the shin bone going down through the middle of the ankle, you'll be able to feel that both the front and the back are relaxed and open. You need a feeling of space in the ankles. As we come up to the knees, the knees are open and relaxed, the joint is not locked. The thigh bone is perpendicular to the ground. Relax the hip joints. Have the spine directly in line with the thighs and the neck above that. The limb tower point is where you feel your spine would come out the top of your head if it could do that. So it's towards the top at the back of the head in line with the spine. You'll see that your knee, your hip and your shoulder are in a straight line perpendicular to the ground. Now we apply Tai Gung, which is a gentle drawing up from the anus, as if you were trying not to go to the toilet. The tailbone is relaxed. The coccyx is first of all hanging down, you just relax the coccyx. Try and think of it hanging down like a tail. Once you can get it to hang down, think of the coccyx turning forward, the very tip of it turning forward. And the next step is to turn the coccyx and aim it up at the nim tower point. Don't physically try and turn the coccyx, just imagine it turning and looking up. It turns inward and upward. It's important that they feel as if they're in line. As the tip of the coccyx and the nim tower point come into line, you'll feel a kind of connection, almost like an electrical circuit. The spine is straight, you will feel straight. The spine still maintains its natural curve, but as you align the tip of the coccyx with the nim tower point, you'll feel like a perfectly straight line. Once you get that feeling, think from the tip of the coccyx up through the spine to the nim tower point. As your thought travels up through the spine, you'll feel something expanding the space between the vertebrae. If you can't feel that, just try and feel the space between the vertebrae. You need to relax all the muscles around the spine and eventually the spine has a natural springiness and will lift by itself. Allow energy to travel up from the tip of the coccyx to the nim tower point. The objective is to flood the spine with chi so that the energy can rise right up to the top and activate the nim tower point, the spot in our brain. Chu Xiong Tin described it as flooding the spine with qi. As the spine floods with qi, eventually rises up right up to the nim tower point. When you do this, you'll feel something at that spot. It's hard to describe. Um, it's almost as if someone was pushing up gently from inside the skull at that point. You let your mind travel up through the spine so that you establish that connection between those two points. Of yourself being lifted up from the nim tower point. Eventually, you want to have a feeling of space everywhere. It's quite hard to describe this, but it happens by itself when the thought is correct. If nothing's happening, don't fret about that. Just keep on doing it, 
eventually things will start to work. Have the ankles open and relaxed. Hip joints are relaxed. Have space in the ankles, knees, hip joints, and armpits. We consider that to be the structure. The idea is that the skeleton is balanced in gravity. The skeleton is balanced so that the skin doesn't have to hold the skeleton in place. The next step is to make the flesh flow down. The body relaxes down as the spine lifts up. You want to feel that the skeleton is supporting your flesh and you can allow gravity to make your flesh flow down. Chu Shong Tin suggested was imagining that the body was turning from ice to water. Along the way you'll feel parts that won't melt. That's fine, just lightly work on those, keep on thinking of the whole body relaxing. If we start at the top, think of the top of the head being ice. Visualize that. Imagine that ice turning to water. As you visualize that, you'll feel a change in the area that you're thinking of. Let that flow down. Imagine like droplets of water flowing down the body. Let that flow down the head, inside and outside, down to the shoulders. Think of the shoulders dropping. As you relax, you'll feel the trapezius muscles starting to stretch. Once again, think of ice to water. Just visualize ice turning to water. Coming down the body, chest, ice turns to water. Back muscles, ice to water. Keep that flowing down, hold that thought and then relax down from the shoulders, down to the elbows, ice turning into water. Everything starts to flow down, down to the wrists, out through the fingers. Once again, think of ice to water. Everything keeps flowing down. You can imagine droplets of water flowing down your body. Everything should be starting to flow down. Come to the lower part of the ribs, ice to water. Down to the pelvis, ice to water. The pelvis, down to the perineum, think of ice to water. Just visualize ice turning to water. From the hip joints down to the knees, soften, think of it being as ice, imagine that ice turning into water, visualize that melting down to the knees, ice to water. From the knees down to the ankles, ice to water, let everything soften. Think of things unravelling, think of the muscles and tendons unravelling, softening, unravelling, dropping down. From the ankles, down to the feet and out through the toes and into the ground, ice to water. Completely relax the arms and the legs, keep the spine straight. The spine should feel as if it's lifted up, as if there's someone lifting you from the nim tower point. We want to get space in the spine without using any muscular effort. We eventually want a feeling as if everything is flowing down from the top of the head down to our feet and into the ground. Constant flow down. Once we've got the skeleton balanced, and the flesh is flowing down, we go back to the spine and start thinking up through the spine. We have the Tai Gong on. The 
tailbone is relaxed, turn the coccyx and aim it up at the nimtau point. It's important that they feel as if they're in line. Once you get that feeling, think of the tip of the coccyx looking up through the spine to the nimtau point. As you do this, just calmly think of lifting up from the tip of the coccyx up to the nimtau point. You'll start to feel space between the vertebrae. If you can't, just, just look for that space. Try and feel the space between the vertebrae. As you become aware of them, as the thought gets into that space, the spaces will start to expand. It happens by itself when the thought is correct. As you work your way up through the spine, you'll start to feel space between the vertebrae. The objective is to make that lifting up travel right up to the nim tau point. As the spine floods with chi, eventually rises up right up to the nim tau point. It feels to me as if someone was pushing up from inside the skull to that point. You let your mind travel up through the spine so that you establish that connection between those two points. Think of yourself being lifted up from the Nim Tower point. Eventually you want to have a feeling of space everywhere. Have the ankles open and relaxed. The hip joints are relaxed. Have space in the ankles knees, hip joints, and armpits. When you've established a feeling of the spine expanding, spaces between the vertebrae expanding, and you have some sensation at the nim tau point, you can then start sending that feeling you have at the nim tau point out to the joints in the body. Chi Shung Tin would start by touching us on the Nim Tao point and then you'd gently trace down along the trapezius to the shoulder joint. When he got to the shoulder joint, he would make a motion as if he wanted us to open, to let go. Um, the translation he used was dump, as if the Chi travels from the Nim Tao point to the shoulder and then as you dump, unload, release the shoulder joint, the chi travels down to the next joint and activate the nim tau point, the spot in our brain. Take that feeling and send it down through the trapezius to the shoulder joints. Imagine chi traveling through there. You'll feel the shoulder joint expand. The shoulder joint will fill up, release the shoulder joint and allow the energy to dump down into the elbow. Think of the chi flooding down into the elbow joint. You'll feel something travel down, as if it travels through the middle of the bone. Imagine that the bone was soft on the inside, as if something could travel through there. The elbow will fill up. As the elbow joint expands, release that, unlock the joint, and let the energy dump down into the wrist. As the wrist expands, you can then release the chi out through the bones in your hands, the joints in your fingers, out through the fingers. You can do the same process from the hip joints. Allow those to fill up and then release those. You'll feel the chi flood down into the knee joint and settle there, start to fill that up. When you feel that you have something in the knee, release that again, and the chi will travel down to the ankles. The ankle joints will fill up, and once again, release the ankle joints, and allow the chi to flood out through the toes and the feet into the ground. None of this requires any effort. 
keep on repeating this process and you start to feel something happen. It's a pleasant feeling. When things are working well, it feels as if there is space between the bones, the muscles and tendons. It's kind of like a warm bath inside your body. Allow yourself to enjoy the relaxation. Don't be too methodical. This is about getting the right sensation happening and it relies on having a light, happy mood. Concentration will take care of itself as you start to enjoy it.